Howdy all, I'm Cody. And I'm Chantal. Welcome to Unit 9, Powerless. Now, if you can't tell about my accent, I'm from Texas. <laughs> I'm actually from Texas, but I won't be doing that accent for this whole video. <laughs> uh, it might come out every now and then, but the subject today is about a cold snap that hit Texas this past February, right around mid-February in the United States. Cold snap. Cold snap. This cold snap plummeted temperatures uh, below zero, roughly, in, I think they had six straight days of negative 10 and below Celsius, which is very cold for Texas. I've lived there for well over 25 years and never experienced it. Um, and so that is incredibly cold. But um, a lot of people, you know, when the mercury drops that low, you know, they freak out in Texas because they can't handle the cold. Mercury. Mercury. And one thing that actually, well, kind of freaked out was the electrical grid because the electrical power system in America uh, is kind of divided in the east and west, but Texas is on their own uh, power electric grid and they are deregulated. There is no oversight from the federal government. And so some of these power companies that produce a lot of the energy don't really have a government agency to answer to. Oversight. Oversight. Answer to. Answer to. So they sometimes try to, you know, undercut other businesses and other providers and it's very, com very competitive. Uh, I remember living in one city in Texas and seeing the competitive pricing for picking an electrical company, which in Korea, you and one company, you know, it's government. Uh, so different system in Texas. Um, but that caused, well, a massive kind of rolling blackout during this cold snap. And a lot of people didn't have power. They didn't have heating for well over seven days. So it was kind of a bad situation that happened. Undercut. Undercut. You may not know, but what are some industries Texas is famous for? I do think oil. Mm, right. Uh, I don't know a lot, but oil is one that comes to, to mind. Right. Oil, or I can broadly say the energy kind of industry yeah. sector. Yeah. They got lots of oil, although nowadays we've got a lot of uh, you know, natural gas. We mm. produce a lot of that for the nation and we actually export it. Mm. Um, one thing kind of recently is a lot of tech companies. They're starting to move to Texas from In California. Austin, right? Right, right around yes, Austin. Yes. And Samsung's largest fabrication plant is in Austin, Texas. Mm. So all those little semiconductors and things you have on your phones even here in Korea, probably produced in Texas. And now the language focus. For the first one, it's up to someone or something to. So for my example, it's up to my girlfriend to choose the restaurant. Next up is have no way to. For example, due to the current pandemic, many people have no way to go home and visit their families. That's it for our preview, and we'll see you on the review section.